All right, part C, it says for um, 0 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 20, so if time 0 to 20, the average temperature in the water tub is 1 over 20 times the integral from 0 to 20 of wt dt. We know this already. Right, this is the average value um, from 0 to 20 of wt. W of t. Use a left Riemann sum with the four subintervals indicated by the data in the table to approximate this. Does this approximation overestimate, underestimate, or under, uh, underestimate the average temperature of the water over these 20 minutes? Explain your reasoning. Okay, so first off, left Riemann sum um, makes rectangles, and the left part of this means that I will use the left side of each re rectangle. So one rectangle goes from 0 to 4, and on that rectangle, I'll use the 0. The next one goes from 4 to 9, I'll use the 4 for the height of that. The next rectangle goes from 9 to 15, use, six, um, use 9 to give me that, and 15 to 20. Okay, so um, let's look at this first. The integral from um, 0 to 20 of wt dt. So we want to evaluate 1 over 20 multiplied by the integral from 0 to 20 of w of t dt, okay, and that will equal, not exactly, because we're going to approximate it with our rectangles, approximately 1 over 20 times the area of my first rectangle, so let's look and see, that's going to be um, 4 wide and w of 0 tall, I'll write that in there, I'll write it as two steps, so 4 multiplied by w of 0, the left side, that's the area of the first rectangle, plus the second rectangle, we'll have 4 total, second rectangle um, is 5 wide from 4 to 9, and we find the height of that rectangle by evaluating w of 4, so 5 multiplied by w of 4, plus our third rectangle is 6 wide, and we go off w of 9 to get that height, so 6 times w of 9, and our final rectangle is 5 units wide, and we use w of 15 to find that height, so um, 5 multiplied by w of 15. Okay, and so that will then get us to 1 over 20 multiplied by 4 times, I believe that was 55, yep, 55.0, plus 5 multiplied by W of 4 is 57.1, and I have 61.8, okay, 57.1. plus 6 multiplied by, I looked at W9, 61.8, plus 5 multiplied by W15, 67.9, okay. Okay, so I have my four rectangles, 1, 2, 3, 4, um, the 1 over 20 still, so what I can do now is go to my calculator, there we go, and let's see, all right, so 1 20th multiplied by 4 times 55.0 plus 5 multiplied by 57.1 plus 6 multiplied by 61.0. 8 plus, last but not least, um, 5 multiplied by 67.9, and this gives me 60.79 as um, the value of this, so approximately 60.79 
degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so that's the numerical part. Now we have to go back and see. It asks, does this approximation overestimate, underestimate the average temperature and explain our reasoning? Okay, now let's go back again. Sorry about flipping back and forth. We know that, um, let's see, where does it say that? Strictly increasing here. This is the important part. It's strictly increasing, so the first derivative is always positive. Um, and what that means is um, the curve, so I'll, I'll draw this to the side. This is not something you'd have to write down, but if the curve is strictly increasing, okay, that's actually increasing at an increasing rate, that's not necessary, but it's always positive, then my left rectangles formed by the left side will always be beneath the graph. Okay, well that's a terrible rectangle, but and I will always miss this area in here. I'll always be uh, marking out less of my area than there actually is. I'm missing these red areas here. And because of this, I know that, let's see, I'll go with, all right. So I know that this is an underestimate underestimate since the function w of t is strictly increasing. Okay, that's enough reasoning behind it, and the reason is you can see that we have not as much area covered.